Hello YouTube, it's Palemore here. Back again with more Blind Gaming. Today we're playing The Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt for the PC. And we are on part 12 of our series. Hooray! So, to recap real quick, we just discovered um, the story of the botchling and had to defeat it. Well, we didn't have to, but we chose to. And we got its blood and we brought it back to the Peller. And that's where we left off. So, big storylines unfolded. I, I thought it was thoroughly enjoyable. And again, it's Halloween. Very creepy. Sad and creepy at the same time. So, we're back with Princess. Little goat. Our little goat buddy that we've met. Just gonna hop this and talk to the Peller. White wolf. Wise wolf. What is it the wolf needs? Got the botchling's blood. Know what to do? How to find Anna and Tamara? Blood, blood, blood. The Pella knows, knows the ritual, ritual to summon the spirits. The Pella will take the blood. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Let's see if these old rituals hold any sway in these foul times. You wish to go right away? Oh, yes. Yeah, don't see any sense in waiting. So shall it be. The white wolf must follow the pillar. The pillar will show the way. <laughs> I like how he talks to himself. Now it's not far. Through the village, then the wood. So we're going to be going to a, um, a ritual place, so I'm going to go ahead, we'll pause the video, and we'll see you there. Okay guys, so the Peller led us to this area, and uh, this is where it's going to go down. Now, I know ahead of time, since we're going to deal with spirits, why don't we go ahead and apply specter oil? There we go. So we got specter oil on. We're not going to worry about thunderbolt. Here. The place. What now? Light the fires. All right, let's do it. All right. No reason to dawdle. Prepare and prepare well. Once the spirits appear, there'll be no recourse, no turning back. Nothing like a little encouragement. Light the fires. The Pella will treat that as his sign to begin. Okay, so we're going to have to use Igni. Um, we don't have to use a spell, though. We can, I think, use a spell, but you just have to simply walk up. And there's three pedestals. Now, he, he did make it clear that the spirits are going to come... So you know that, you know, Spectre Oil is what you definitely need to make it easier. And you have to keep these lit. Ready. The fires. Watch them. Let nothing break the circle. Here we go. Music so cool. Another Halloween worthy of video. Earth and sky, by the world that was to be your home. I who have tasted your blood summon you to guide me. Ah, come, he put fetus blood, blood on his born. face. Uh. Come, blood spurned. Come, blood never named. Hear me upon the paths. Lead me along the trail of those bound to you by blood. Damn it. Supposed to keep the fires lit. Are she the blood? Are she the bound? Tamara's coming with me. She is swollen, pulsing with blood. Dark upon a pale visage. A drop trickles over bright gold. 
I am the fist clasp. I am dark in blood. I am white name. I am the team. Show me the blood that is your blood. Show me the blood that is lost. The blood summons me. Just a bit further, Mum. Hold on. Blood leaves her face. Thorny boughs snag her. Stop her. I am a drop on a web. Will Wojtek wait? Dark blood carries the question downriver. Why do you seek the child of Elder Blood? There it is. Nay, is the time of the white frost and white light. The time of madness and disdain. The world shall perish amidst ice and be reborn of Elder Blood, of a planted seed. What can you possibly offer? Blood on his face. All right, well, I'm going to skip this dialogue and uh, I'll see you guys after and recap for you. Okay, guys, so after talking to the Peller, um, he saw the uh, Anna and Tamara going through the woods, running away, and uh, taken in by Voitech. He didn't. He wasn't sure what Voitech it was. He knew of two. One was in Black Bow. The other was in a fishing hut somewhere. So we're gonna find, as you can see from the right under the mini map, on this side, um, we have to go to the fisherman's hut and uh, talk to him and see what's going on. But uh, that's where the spirit led the Peller to believe. Um, you know the the last known location of. Amara and Tamara or whatever whatever their names are the Bloody Baron's family so anyways we'll pause the video and pop up on the hut hope you guys enjoyed that uh, <laughs> skirmish between the uh, specters but it wasn't too bad there was just a lot of them and I'll see you guys in a minute okay guys we are in the area where the secret fisherman's hut is and it's kind of out of the way there was a monster nest nearby that I um, took out too. Alright, so an update to the quest, meaning we are in the right place. If we look inside, there's like a family and everything. And we're just going to walk right in. Fuck it. <laughs> that would creep me right out. Who's that? In the room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. They call you Voitech. I, I. They do, kind sir. But I's not done a thing. Swear it on the lives of my youngins. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, mummy? 
quiet boy. Oh. Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause, cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. Now you know that's interesting. I actually, I think that's another reason I like this quest line so much. Not only is the story very intriguing, um, just to share a little about me, I can completely relate to that. Um, when I was younger, um, going through school and everything, uh, just starting high school, I was being beaten pretty badly to a bloody pulp almost daily, and nobody lifted a finger, not even family, to help me. So I get why, you know, these people wanted to keep them safe and help them and he's making the point that nobody wanted to help them not one person so I totally get that so there's a little about me what happened to Tamara's mother uh, for like this I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses the cold as hell and so dark couldn't see past two L's in front of you moon had risen high and still it hadn't come began to fear some demon had snatched him but finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose, thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. But then I saw it, fiery marks on her hands. That's interesting. like an old curse what marks these well like burned on with hot iron on the palms inside burned like a cattle brand I though these wasn't black scars scabbed over these hot and glowing as if they burned with raw fire hmm that might be what the Peller was keeping her safe from, not from the Baron. Might have been. Anyways, we're going to go through the rest of this dialogue, and I'll recap it after we're done. Okay, so it looks like... Um, as far as what he's saying, um, Anna, the, the mother, had these weird markings that some sort of magic that was on her we just don't know what it's almost like a curse mark don't know if she's dead but a monster came out and took her and uh didn't even touch the daughter but took her the daughter's in oxenford and um we're gonna go tell the, ba the baron what's going on and i think he's gonna send me to oxenford to m talk to the daughter try to bring her home but uh We'll be getting to the mother after that. I think the daughter's going to be first, but uh, it's interesting. I guess this beast, well, you know how it's a fisherman's hut, so he has a fisherman's story. He said it's as big as a barn, had horns, col red coals for eyes, and it ripped the head off one of the horses. And um, I think the one that Anna was on, and then took her and ran into the woods. So seems like there's some sort of magic going on um, why it chose the Baron's wife I have no idea but it specifically pinpointed the Baron's wife so anyways guys uh, we'll pause video and I'll come back up on the Baron word please believe we've not had the pleasure they call me the sergeant left over from my army days you understand when me and Philip meaning the Baron served under a Temerian banner Wanted to ask you about something. What is it? That night when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is. Garden. It's 
Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk? No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. See, now he's at least starting to come around. Like I said, he's really a good guy. I think everybody's a good person deep, deep down. Depends how many you know, quote-unquote demons they have. This guy really uh, truly regrets what he did, but unfortunately, you know, he's lost it all. Right now, at least. Uh, he's probably back here. There he is. Oh, looky, looky. We've got lots of herbs. Let's pick these up real quick. Light the little lamp. Actually, let's go in... Just in case we have quests or uh, diagrams of any kind. There we go, look at that. Cat school upgrade diagrams, yay! There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story, insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, are called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. I'll never know which blooms would please my second daughter most. Damn shame. She brought death down on others. The sooner you start thinking of it that way, the better off you'll be. Can't deny that. Doesn't make it any easier to live with, though. Alright, we're gonna skip a little bit and uh, pop back uh, further on the dialogue chain. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. This is another Siri gameplay. From the past, of course. Of yours. Pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living. Seri, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you done well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? At Care Morhen. Witcher school there, are I? But they only took lads, as I recall. They made an exception for me. Right. Me to say you're a she witcher. Not entirely. The mutations, I was never subjected to them. But everything else I know, I learned from the witches there. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. Because you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrid. Nobody <laughs> cares about your backside. A woman could swing a sword, I've known one, but never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy oh. on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. Alright, we're, uh, we're gonna skip the rest of this dialogue and we'll pop up on the Horse race, which you know is inevitably going to happen, and I hate horse races with a passion. Here we go. So if I lose, he gets my Witcher sword. If I 
If he loses, I get his horse. That's the deal. The tide dawns. Ready? Ready. As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop. It's actually not a long race or hard. <laughs> as I lose. Come on, silly! Don't you embarrass us? Want that horse, don't ya? Had one just like it. So this is like your first intro to a horse race. I mean, they're kind of fun, but they get really, really hard. In my opinion. I never liked them. Because my eye condition and the track turns and I gotta look at the map and back on the ride. It's, it's rough for me. So that's why I don't like it. Yay, we won. Your wind, not woman. Okay, so he told me a little more and then he's refusing to tell me anymore until I continue to help him. So we're going to have to uh, go see his daughter in Oxenford. He did give me a pass to get in because there's a, um, uh, not a notice, there's a, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Basically, there's some law or a policy in effect right now that all the, no one can get through the gates to Oxenford um, for some reason. But the Baron had a special pass he gave me to get through the gates so I could talk to his daughter. I just wanted to make a note before we end the video. You can play the Baron and Gwent. There's going to be a point where the Baron is going to leave the storyline completely um, in the game. You will not be able to play him again. He has a very unique card. He's one of the harder ones to play. I would suggest playing him until you can beat him right now. Just get it out of the way. I'm going to definitely do that. We're going to get his unique card. I believe it's a spy card um, or it's a special card. I just can't remember now. But uh, very important to get it if you want it. And I believe it's part of that collect them all quest. So make sure you collect this one. Anyways, guys. Um, also, as far as Gwent cards in this um, Crow's Perch, this little area that we're in, the two blacksmiths and the vendor right at the front gate are the other people in here you can get Gwent cards from. The female blacksmith is actually very difficult, um, but other than that, the Baron's the only other one of uh, interest that uh, is difficult. The... And I'm sorry, it's a correction. Two vendors. There's one right across from the two blacksmiths and then one at the beginning gate. So um, there's let's see, five Gwent cards in total you can win from all the NPCs here. And then the vendor across from the blacksmiths um, sells Gwent cards as well. I would rec recommend getting them. I think one or two of them were actually decent for beginning deck. So, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I hope to see you guys on many more videos. I hope you're getting pulled into the story if you didn't know the story already and enjoying your uh, experience with me as we defeat this game. So, um, I love you guys. Thanks so much for all of your support. And until next time, as always, later.